as seafood demand grows at an alarming rate. Chinese vessels have been attempting to illegally fish in other countries' protected waters, sometimes at a very high cost. In March 2016, the Argentine naval prefecture embarked on a high seas chase to pursue the Lu Yan Yan Yu 10. The illegal fishing vessel was attempting to steal tons of fish from Argentina's exclusive economic zone. This footage, released a day after the pursuit, shows the Argentinian Navy's attempts to capture the Chinese ship before they had no other choice but to sink it when their own safety was at risk. On the morning of March 14, 2016, Argentinian Coast Guard ship Derbis spotted a large red and white fishing boat on the ocean near Port Madryn, a fishing city of about 70,000 people in the province of Chubut in the Patagonia region. Port Madryn is part of Argentina's Exclusive Economic Zone, or EEZ. It's a designated area set aside by a 1982 United Nations Treaty. Under the agreement, states have special rights regarding the exploration and use of their marine resources, including flora and fauna. An EEZ stretches out up to 200 nautical miles from the coast. The Derbez crewmen knew immediately what the ship was doing. Incognito Chinese fishing boats carry out illegal fishing all over the world, as their country doesn't have enough supply for its rising seafood demand. Both the Atlantic and Pacific coasts have been affected, with Peru and Argentina being the countries that have taken the brunt of Chinese fishing. After recognizing the Lu Yan Yan Yu 10 as an illegal fishing trawler, the Argentinian Navy tried to contact them through the radio in both English and Spanish to no avail. A chase that was caught on camera soon began. The Argentinians had to act fast before the vessel escaped with what they assumed were tons of seafood. The Derbez attempted numerous audio and visual signals to the Chinese vessel. When they noticed the foreign ship turned off its lights and began fleeing towards international waters, the Argentinian Navy knew it was time to resort to more drastic measures. They fired several warning shots directed at the trawler, which in response turned toward its pursuer and repeatedly attempted to ram into them. The Navy was in danger of losing its own ship. The Argentinian vessel began firing directly at the Chinese fishing boat, which started to sink after its hull began taking on water. The Chinese crew had no option but to abandon the ship. Four of the crew members, including the captain, can be seen being pulled to safety by the Derbez crew. The remaining crew of the massive ship was able to board two other Chinese vessels, which had arrived at the confrontational scene. No injuries were reported from either side. The chase lasted several hours, and this footage shows the end result, a capsized vessel ready to sink to the bottom of the ocean. The Lu Yan Yan Yu 10 had a long track record of illegal fishing incidents all over the world. It's owned by Shandong Yantai Marine Fisheries Company, a subsidiary of the China National Fisheries Corporation, a gigantic state-owned firm owned by the China Agricultural Development Group, part of the Chinese government. Assisted by China's massive bureaucratic administration and an interconnected network of embassies, the China National Fisheries Corporation's vessels have licenses to fish in several other countries, but not in designated EEZ zones. The Lu Yan Yan Yu 10 is far from the first vessel involved in an incident like this in an Argentinian port. A few weeks before the Lu Yan Yan Yu 10 incident, another Chinese ship was caught in illegal squid fishing. The vessel, named Hua Li 8, was detected on February 29th, and it also ignored all communication from the Argentine Coast Guard. The ship subsequently attempted to flee for four days, first to Uruguayan waters, then returning to Argentine seas, and finally escaping into international waters on March 3rd. In 2013, authorities caught an illegal Chinese vessel that carried 180 tons of fresh squid as it tried to escape Port Madryn. Authorities, experts, and even non-profit organizations such as Oceana agree that the rise in demand for seafood and increased competition over crumbling stocks could set up new worldwide conflicts. Many of them have explicitly pointed to China as their fishing stocks have shrunk dramatically in the last decade. As Beijing expanded its distant ocean fishing fleet, Several of the vessels have been involved in disputes such as the conflict in Argentina. Though met with force and determination from the Argentinian Navy, the sailors were still relatively safe from any real danger. 
On the other hand, Indonesia has even gone as far as blowing up Chinese boats after catching them in illegal fishing. Its government has clearly stated, quote, What the Chinese boats are doing is not fishing. It is transnational organized crime. 